Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorials, I taught you about gaining into a system, access into a system and maintaining it. Now in this tutorial, after we have gained access and maintained it, I need to make sure that even if I reboot, uh, my I still have access to the system and I uh, what all things I can go ahead and modify and how can I go ahead and get the hash passwords of anything that I want over there. So this tutorial will be all about that. So let's go ahead and first again, let me start the SE toolkit. I'll just go and quickly start my access. Four and four forty three using the same one and yes. And by that time I'll just go ahead and copy my payload over here. This is the old one. Just go ahead and copy it to over here. Let's see if the access is established. Perfect. And I will quickly go ahead and gain access to its system so that I will be able to show you what all things I will be able to do. So just quickly type yes. V and uh, yes, I have only three privileges. Okay, and run post windows gather square press. background so what it is exactly doing I did not explain that this in previous tutorial it, it is searching all the exploits and payloads that has UAC inside that that can go ahead and bypass user account control so I'll go ahead and use this one. and And the host and uh, what was the IP address? I don't know why I did that. Two one six eight two two six one thirty. The port would be eight 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 eight. I'll just use two two three four five. Okay, set should be small. Perfect set. Shin one and. Perfect, let's see. Bypass successful. Midapeter session 2 started. Perfect. Now, after I have gathered all of these things, the next thing that I want to do, uh, okay, first I'll just go ahead and migrate. So I'll just uh, check so that um, for any other reason I don't want if the Windows Defender somehow goes ahead and find out. Uh, I'll still need to go ahead and merge it to Explorer. So it's 2152. So I'll just type migrate 2152. That is for the Explorer. Okay. 
perfect now i want to go ahead and gather the password for my windows 7 so and the password is stored in a, a secure accounts manager sam database and it is stored in a hash format so what i need to do is i need to go ahead and decrypt that and gain access to that so the thing i would like to do is i like to go ahead and run post windows gather and hash temp so it will gather all the hashes for our own uh, John the Ripper. So we would be using uh, JDR that's John the Ripper to go ahead and crack the this specific thing. So okay the script is a system user I need to go ahead and I did not go ahead and get into system. Okay let me check it's showing that I am not the system I think I need to go ahead and run that again. I was thrown out since I did not use the get system quickly. So I'll just go ahead and set host set L port two three four six. I'll just type two four five six. Mm. And I'll use Okay, there are already multiple request handling. Yep. I'll just go ahead and cancel this and on all of these once more. Now I'll just go ahead and delete this payload. As I told you previously that you need to be quick in uh, getting into system else you will be thrown out that's what happened with me right now. So I'll use a different port or I'll use the same one 443. Yes, yeah, so I'll just go ahead and start the listener. Okay. Mm, so is it started? Perfect, I'll just uh, perfect. So I'll just go ahead and get access to the system again. Okay, I think I made some mistake. Run, let's play no post windows. Okay, now I'll just go ahead and background. Explained the windows. Local. See, we see. Reverse TCP. Just do it quickly.
yeah, so not our host it's and the new port would be say 8888 and the server and uh, just go ahead and gain access into the system okay so i am system right now so i'll just go ahead and run the database perfect perfect so previously i was not the system that's why i did not run now as you can see it's obtaining the boot key and i have so this is the username and this is uh, the pass password for the default administrator for the guest and for the test user so now what i need to do is go ahead and crack this uh, hash password this is how it is kept in normally but the john the ripper that is as you can see we have the john the ripper over here this is a very famous brute force uh, cracking tool i would be going ahead and using this to go ahead and crack our hash database and get my uh, password back but that is it for this tutorial. I'll be showing that how to go. We can go ahead and crack using the John the Ripper in the next tutorial.